Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I'm here back with some more tea, okay? So basically, this tea is about Hazel E. And all I have to say is the chickens have come home to roost, bitch, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember, two years ago, I did a video about the whole Hazel E situation when she decided to go in on dark-skinned women and talk about, you know, their ugly, their dark butts. She's basically talking about her castmates, but it caused a huge controversy online. It was just really disgusting disgusting so much so that she ended up getting fired from loving hip-hop hollywood i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys this flashback you guys go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary so hazel e says i see all you black ass bitches that hate me stop bleaching your skin and fix the inside first maybe all you hoes wouldn't be so mad love your skin you're in ladies it takes a village to take me out but what y'all fail to realize is that I'm still on top. None of you bitches will ever compare to me or be on my level. I got money in these streets. Anybody looking for a check, hit me up. Bitches mad because they couldn't pass the brown paper bag test. Yup, I said it. Back on my business with the United Nations. Sorry, mom. You kept me away from these type of girls all my life. You said that they would hate me because I'm light skinned and you were right. Then she goes on to say, that raggedy broke black bitch gonna make up fake DMs about me and Rose. You took it too far, you Instagram fame-seeking whore. Stop posting nudes with your son. You're an embarrassment to all mothers. Watch how this shit unfolds for you. You've harassed me for months on social media and I'm tired of all these monkey looking dark butts coming from my pretty ass. Don't take your insecurities out on me. Damn, you're trying to get on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood that bad? You need another check? You and your faggot ass homeboy and your gay ass son gonna have to figure this industry out when I get done with you. Y'all keep playing about my man's sexuality. You gonna get more than what you bargained for. I'm sending child protective services on your ass at Just Hilarious. All right, so you guys, just saw that flashback so what's been reported today is that hazel e is on marriage boot camp along with shonda and willie taylor from i'm loving hip-hop hollywood willie taylor was part of day 26 so now they're on marriage boot camp and it was announced today that there was a huge fight on the set of the show where production had to be shut down and the fight stemmed behind colorism okay what happened is that shonda basically confronted hazel e about those comments that she made about dark-skinned women two years ago and the shit went down okay i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this article go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary so this is what's being reported they're saying producers reportedly had an emergency meeting following this fight marriage boot camp hip-hop edition hasn't even aired yet but things are already off to an explosive start according to reports filming on the reality series had to be halted after castmates Hazel E. and Shonda Denise came to blows on set. Sources close to the show claim that production was stopped after Shonda, 34, and her husband, Willie Taylor, and Hazel E., 39, and her boyfriend, Davon B., got into a physical fight. The reported brawl broke out when Shonda called Hazel E. out on her colorist post that she made on Instagram about darker-skinned women. In a bizarre 2017 rant, Hazel E. wrote, I see you black-ass bitches that hate me. Stop bleaching your skin. Fix the inside first. And maybe you hoes wouldn't be so mad. Sorry my mom kept me away from these type of girls all my life. Shonda was not having it, and the women allegedly lunged at and fought each other. The situation went from bad to worse when their significant others got involved in the alleged fight. The altercation only ended after crew members and security guards stepped in. The cast was reportedly placed on lockdown, and the producers had an emergency meeting to discuss the next steps. Though the fight reportedly caused the entire set to devolve into chaos, it apparently wasn't enough to get everyone fired. Sources claim that filming has been restarted and both couples are still in the house. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard me read that article. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but I'm not surprised, you know what I'm saying? It's really sad, all this stuff that's going on nowadays with colorism. First and foremost, before we even talk about the whole colorism aspect of it, why the fuck is Hazel E on this show? 
I thought the name of the show was Marriage Boot Camp. This is a show for people who are actually married who want to salvage their relationship. It's really sad that this show has just devolved into a bunch of bullshit. You have folks on here who are not married and she's not the first one. There have been other celebrity hip hop couples on here who've come on to Marriage Boot Camp just looking for a check because none of these people are damn married, okay? Now, as far as the colorism thing, if you guys have not watched my original video about Hazel E, I will post the link to the video down below. You guys make sure to watch it. It was a wonderful breakdown if I do say so my damn self, okay? You know, my thing is this. Obviously, Hazel E has not changed, even though she ran her ass to Ayana Fix My Life and she played victim and, you know, she was the poor, you know, light-skinned girl who was picked on. Now, granted, okay, I would never take that away from any light-skinned women because... I've been there to witness light-skinned girls get picked on by some dark-skinned women who felt some type of way. I've seen it myself, so I'll never say that that doesn't happen. But to me, Hazel E was using that as a crutch to deflect from the fact that she said some fucked up shit about dark-skinned women, okay? Another thing that bothers me about this situation is even if Shonda confronted her, had she really changed, then the first thing out of her mouth would have been, I'm sorry, I apologize. It wasn't meant towards you. I was really upset at my cast members. This was my mind frame during that time. But instead of her taking the apologetic route because she did disrespect the whole dark skinned damn female population, instead of her taking that route, she automatically got on the defense because I know how Hazel E is. She automatically got offended, got upset, and was ready to fight as opposed to, you know, speaking about this situation like a grown adult. So this whole situation is insane, but I think a lot of dark-skinned women are tired of the bullshit and they're not going to take it anymore. You know, I see some folks saying, well, this happened two years ago. Shonda needs to worry about, you know, who the fuck Willie's fucking now. He's always cheating on her. Why is she worried about this? I just think, you know, it's just one of those situations, you know, where on site when I see you, I'm going to confront you about certain things. And that's what Shonda did. You know what I'm saying? Because the things that Hazel E said back then, they did hurt a lot of people like I said in my video I wasn't hurt because I'm not a supporter of Hazel E I don't follow her I don't follow every fucking Instagram thought model you know what I'm saying some of them are cool but most of them are not my cup of tea most of the folks who were hurting in their feelings were people who were following her who looked up to her and everything else okay another thing I've noticed there's such a disdain for dark-skinned women. I mean, it's it's really sad at this point. And a lot of it is coming from other black people. You know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday, like I said in the earlier video, I had posted um, a post that I had received a DM, a nasty DM I had received. I posted on Instagram. And basically in this DM, um, this man, whoever this is, I assume it's a man. It's not a white person. I can tell this is a black person who wrote this. Nine times out of ten, it's probably a dark-skinned, you know, black man who hates dark-skinned women because of a lot of that on social media is it all dark-skinned black men of course not you have a lot of black men and dark-skinned black men who do love and appreciate chocolate but then you have that small sector because they don't like what they see in the mirror they project that onto other people and this is what this fucking idiot tried to do to me and so basically this person is writing I long for the day that dark-skinned girls are extinct for good that way the world will be free from the filth I cannot stand to see the likes of you succeed in life. Fuck you and your cotton picking ancestors. Death to Africa. You know, like, it's insane. Like, you know, this person is admitting that I'm successful and I'm doing well in life, but then also saying that I don't deserve my success or deserve to, you know, be seen in a particular light because I'm dark skinned. He's literally saying death to all dark skinned people. And these are just some of the DMs I get from people. You know, like I said in that Hazel E video, when people can't find anything else to attack you on, when you're pretty, you're well put together, you're articulate, you're a nice person, you know how to treat folks. When you have a good head on your shoulder, you're about your business, you're about your bag. You know what I'm saying? Building generational wealth. They can't find anything. So one, they'll either make up a bunch of bullshit that they just pull out their ass because they're feeling some type of way or they'll come for your skin tone. I've been going through this since I was in elementary school. So at the end of the day, this is water off of a duck's back. When I seen that, I was like, this person's an idiot. You know, I said what I had to say to them, which, you know, I replied back with Kuth and, you know, Grace, you know what I mean? And then I posted on Instagram so people can see the type of hate mail that we as dark-skinned women get for no reason. Like, I literally just woke up that day, like, you know, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to see another day. And this is how this person woke up, okay? And when it's all said and done, dark skin or not, okay, you being upset about my skin tone or what I've, you know, accomplished in life, that's not going to better you anymore. 
That's not going to do anything to better your circumstances. So it's sad that a lot of people have like this weird animosity, this weird hate where they feel like dark skinned women do not have the right to achieve certain levels of success, do not have the right to be on billboards and on runway and, you know, and coming up with their own brands and things like that. And it's really sad that there's still so much colorism permeated throughout the black community, but I'm not surprised. Now, while I do think as grown women and as mothers, we should be able to handle things better, but I can understand, you know, being really upset in the heat of the moment and things escalating, you know, so this entire situation is sad. You know, of course, they're going to keep them on the show. Of course, they're going to, you know, promote the fight because they want eyeballs. They love when real world drama, you know, what I'm saying seeps into these ratchet ass reality TV shows. OK, so this entire situation is crazy. But like I said, I'm not shocked in the least that once again, Hazel E is embroiled in some type of colorism controversy. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Hazel E, Shonda, Willie Taylor, and Hazel E's, you know, latest boyfriend coming to blows behind the comments that she made on social media back in 2017. Do you agree with Shonda and how she handled it? Do you feel like, you know what, at this point, a lot of dark-skinned women are tired of the bullshit? Or do you feel like it could have been handled better? And then how do you guys feel about Hazel E and her colorist statements that she's made, you know what I'm saying, several times in the past? And then do you agree with me that sometimes when people don't have no other reason to hate you they always go towards the skin tone you know what i'm saying and that's the sad part of the matter but i do want to say to all the dark skin girls and dark skin women out there continue keeping your head up honey continue living your best life you know what i'm saying don't let anybody dictate your happiness don't let anybody make you be ashamed of your beauty hold your head high like the queen that you are and let people who want to be in their feelings about your skin tone something that you cannot change let them continue to be in their feelings while you succeed and you continue to make your damn moves at the end of the day like I always say on my channel, no one can help their skin. Nobody can help the skin that they're born in. Nobody can help their skin tone, their complexion, their race, their ethnicity. We were all born the way that we were born and we cannot help that, okay? And it's not okay for somebody to think they can attack somebody based on something they cannot change. So to everyone, keep your head up, love your skin tone, regardless if you're dark skin, light skin, Asian, white, African, you know, just whatever you are, love the skin that you're in and never let anybody make you feel this small. Keep your head up. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Hazel E and Shonda getting into that horrible fight on marriage boot camp. How do you guys feel about this? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, deuces.